All right, in uh, business-related news, we all know the economy has been in the doldrums and uh, the many for sale signs have added to concerns about empty homes, people losing uh, profits on their sales, not making any profit, uh, being in debt and the property market in general. But now it's being reported that there's a surprising uptick in the luxury property sector. To discuss, we're joined by the CEO and co-founder of mortgagemarket.co.za, Tim Akinusi. Mr. Akinusi, thank you you for being with us. So just tell us about mortgagemarket.co.za, your activity in the market and what you're seeing right now. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, we are a, a marketplace for home loans. We effectively help, uh, you know, the buyers that are very scarce in this market. We help them get access to all the banks in real time, uh, which helps them get, uh, you know, pretty much a very a competitive way of getting the best deals from all the banks, and then we pay them an amount of 5,000 cash back. So that's what we do. Um, we observed in the marketplace right now that, uh, as you mentioned, you know, the credit situation is deteriorating. Um, and this is in spite of there being a really good buyer market where there's a lot of homes that are for sale that are not commanding market related prices. So it really is a buyer's market, and, um, you know, customers have the opportunity to take full advantage of this, yeah. especially the ones that have good credit records and the ones that can afford this, both in the primary sector as well as for um, investment pur pur purposes. Uh, see if uh, um, Uber, I think it is the, the mortgage comparison uh, body as well, saying they are seeing uh, more sales in the luxury uh, sector. Uh, are you seeing any uptick there? Yeah, you know, um, there has been a lot of activity in that in that segment of the market. Obviously, um, it depends on uh, if you're on the buy side, or the sell side, if it's been good news or bad news. Of course, it's been bad news for the sellers because they uh, perhaps haven't gotten, um, you know, the rental yields from uh, their holiday homes, etc. So they're having to offload these um, at much lower rates than what they would have expected. On the buying side, um, of course, if you're a buyer who is cash flush, you can pick up, you know, really good luxury homes, um, probably in about that six million plus range. You could pick them up for as, um, as little as 20 percent less than what the growing market rate is. So yeah. um, it really is a tale of, um, of two halves um, and it really depends on what side of the coin you are. So, so there is activity, but um, the, some of the houses are going for a steal. And of course, this is the, the upper end. Uh, anecdotally, uh, estate agents are saying we're seeing um, a lot of people immigrating and, and they do that in a hurry. So then, uh, you know, they want a, a quick sale or, or they're willing to go lower. Can you comment on that? Yeah, you know, um, it really is, uh, you know, when you talk about the demand and supply factors, you know, the reality is that right now there is an oversupply in the marketplace. And, um, you know, that just adds to the pressure of uh, sellers having to take any offer that they can field, especially if their need to sell is, um, is a rather urgent one. Um, but, of course, for the, for the sellers who aren't um, in the same boat where they need to sell their properties quickly um, uh, due to a migration or um, any type of other factors, they should really hang on because um, they're unlikely to get a market-related price for their properties. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're not heading into any sort of boom by any measure. We're, we're not even heading back to where people are making tiny little profits. In fact, uh, people are going to lose, basically, if they, if they sell their homes in general. Um, and, and do you foresee that lasting for how long? Well, perhaps maybe I can just uh, dive a little bit more into that statement, right? Um, so, in essence, it's a segment-by-segment -segment view where... Um, you are unlikely to get the best price for your property if you are in the upper segment of the market. So if you're in the luxury segment, but if you're in the mid market space, you know, that, you know, 1.5 to 3 million gap, you know, there's still a lot of demand there. So you're likely to actually get a really good price for that. In fact, whatever price you, you put your place on the market, depending on how sought after your, um, your property is, you could actually get your full asking price. So it really is uh, segment dependent. And I would say that, you know, one of the key things that have come out of this uh, pandemic has been 
that property sentiment has increased so much because the utility value of properties have gone up. And because that's gone up, you know, um, a lot more of a, uh, uh, you know, call it a premium can be charged from people that have good homes that are, that are multifaceted and good homes that can be used, um, you know, both for entertainment, for um, working and living. Um, you know, those types of homes would command really great values, especially if yeah. they're for primary use as well. Final question, quickly. What about the entry-level uh, people who, who want to own a home for the first time, young people that we want as a nation uh, to get involved in, in the property market? Um, so that will be at the lower end. Uh, how's that looking? Yeah, that affordable housing market is always going to do well because the demand is so strong there and the supply is uh, incredibly constrained. So there, there's not been enough property developers out there to build quality homes. Um, so that market is always going to do well. And you're always likely to get, you know, real house price growth into that market beyond um, inflation. And, um, and that's a good thing because, you know, that's the bedrock of, uh, you know, the bulk of the South African market. And, um, you know, we expect that that sector will remain resilient and will continue to grow well into the future. So for first time home buyers, you know, uh, the easiest way to get in is certainly to look at new developments because they come cost inclusive. So you don't have to outlay, you know, a big deposit or um, or look at uh, or worry about the, you know, the cost of transfers and registration, et cetera. So that would be a great way to enter into the market. And um, that right now is the fastest growing segment in the residential market. All right, so it's not all bad news, basically. Thank you very much uh, for that. Look, mortgagemarket.co.za, co-founder and CEO, Tim Akinusi.